today I'm gonna to show you how to set up and use FaceTime on your iPhone, iPad, and Mac, as well as a few tips and tricks like how to make your head and an emoji head. What time is it? FaceTime. Yeah, so um, obviously things look a little different here. I'm at my home, I'm filming in my bedroom that has been turned into a bedroom CNET studio slash office. It's really weird because I'm filming in a corner. I hope I, hope I started record. Hey, but seriously, I hope that you and your families are safe and sound during this uncertain time. And that actually brings me to FaceTime with more of us being home, wanting to contact friends and families and, and to see familiar faces. Uh, a lot more people are using video chat services like FaceTime, Skype, Zoom. <laughs> Boy, has that company had an interesting ride up and down this past couple weeks. But anyway, let's talk about FaceTime. FaceTime is not a new thing. In fact, it's been around nearly 10 years. Yeah, it's not quite ready for high school yet, but it definitely doesn't want you to drop it off in front of all its friends at the mall or other cool hangout. Hey, FaceTime is a wonderful platform to use for video chats on iOS, iPadOS, and macOS. And part of the, well, I would dare say the, the unsung feature of FaceTime is the fact that it is end-to-end -end encrypted, meaning that Apple can't get at your data, nor can a, a hacker. And you know what? Privacy. Yeah, you should care about that, even during a pandemic. Hey, but enough of my jibber-jabber. Let's get to it. Oh, dog's back. All right, first thing we're gonna do is take a look at setting up FaceTime on your iOS device. So this will include an iPhone, an iPad, and even an iPod Touch. <laughs> Yeah, they still make those. So the most important thing here is actually your Apple ID. And if you have an iPhone, I recommend setting it up on that first so you can tie your Apple ID to your phone number. And this is gonna give you more options later on. On your iPhone, go to settings, scroll down a bit, tap on FaceTime, then turn on FaceTime. Next, follow the prompts. If your iPhone's phone number isn't already tied to your Apple ID, you'll be asked to log into your Apple ID to start that process. Hey, but if you already have FaceTime on your iPhone, you get a few different options. You can select which numbers and email addresses you wanna be able to be reached via FaceTime, as well as which number or email address to start a FaceTime call from. Kinda cool. Hey, but you can also use FaceTime on your Mac. To set that up, you're gonna open up the FaceTime app. Enter your Apple ID and follow the prompts. If you have any other Apple devices using that Apple ID, a window will pop up on that device, letting you know that it's tied to a new device. To customize some basic settings, go to the menu bar and click on the FaceTime drop-down menu. Then click on Preferences. And just like your other Apple devices, you'll get to choose which emails or phone numbers you want to send and receive FaceTime calls in. Also, while you're in this window, there's a neat little option to take phone calls from your iPhone and answer them on your Mac. To enable this, just click on this box right here. Now that the foundation has been laid, let us build our skyscraper of fun. I'm not sure what that voice was, but the point being, there is a lot of fun things you can do with FaceTime. And probably, I think the most fun is being able to replace your human head with a Memoji head. Or an Animoji head. Where's my koala bear fans out there? Right? Am I right? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. There's nobody there. All right, to do so, you need an iPhone 10 or newer, or an iPad with Face ID. When you're on a FaceTime call, tap on the Effects button, then tap on the Animoji button. You can select your Memoji if you set one up, or you can select an Animoji. Where are my shark head fans out there? Anybody, anybody? <laughs> There's nobody here. But if you wanna go back to your human head, tap on the Effects button again, then go to Animoji and select the circle with an X in it. Now, if you don't want to replace your head with a, an emoji head, but you want to jazz up that FaceTime environment, why not try a sticker or a filter or an effect? Yeah, it's kind of like Instagram or Snapchat. During a FaceTime call, tap the display and tap the effects button. You'll see different options in terms of effects, features, and stickers you can use during your call. You can also add text, Apple Watch fitness rings, and stickers you have from your iMessages, which brings me to Pro tip. When you add a sticker or an effect to your FaceTime call, it's gonna stay there the entire call. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's going to stay there the entire call 
unless you remove it, which you can do by tapping the little X next to the sticker or by going back into the effects menu and changing the filter. Pro tip. Ooh. Let's say your friend is really knocking you on a FaceTime video call and you wanna remember that moment? Well, you can take a live photo. Live photos are those photo video hybrids where it captures a second and a half before you take the picture and a second and a half after you take the picture. So when you look at the picture later, you can push and hold on it and it kind of comes to life. Well, to do that, go to settings, scroll down and tap FaceTime and then turn on FaceTime live photos. On a Mac, go to the FaceTime preferences window and select the allow live photos to be captured during video calls field. Once enabled, next time your family member or friend does something fun, tap on the shutter button on the screen to take a photo. You'll see the text pop up, you took a FaceTime photo. And the photo gets saved in your Photos app. Now during these times, group video chat, well, it's bread and butter. There's a group happy hour over FaceTime. There's group cooking over FaceTime. There's group friends and family being silly over FaceTime. FaceTime can handle up to 32 people at once. I think the most I got was uh, 26 because we ran out of people. Also very chaotic. But to help keep this more focused, FaceTime constantly morphs the call windows to make them more or less prominent. This is my interpretation of it. Hey, but let's talk about a shortcut. When you're making a FaceTime call, there's no need to go into contacts to hunt down your friend's name to start the call. You can actually start it from iMessage. To do this, just go to the Messages app and find a conversation with who you wanna call. Then tap on the contact's profile picture or name. Then tap FaceTime. This will instantly launch a FaceTime call. This is especially helpful for when you're doing a group FaceTime call with a handful of people. Now, if you're in the middle of a FaceTime call and you wanna add more people, that's actually pretty easy. On your iPhone, tap the screen to open up the FaceTime control panel. Then swipe up on the control panel to reveal more options and tap add person. Type the contact you wanna add and hit add person and voila. Pro tip. During a FaceTime call, you can change up your own view, but you can also change how other people see you on the call. The dog's back. To change the orientation on a Mac, move your cursor over the picture in picture window and click the rotate arrow button that pops up. Pro tip. Last, if you want to record your FaceTime call, make sure that you have screen recording set up on your iPhone. To do this, go to settings, tap control center, tap Customize Controls, and tap Screen Recording. Once you're set up, slide down the control panel and tap Screen Recording either before or during your FaceTime call. When you end your screen recording, the video will be saved to your Photos app. Now, this just records video. Now, if you're on a Mac, you can use QuickTime to record the screen and the audio. Open up QuickTime, and then from the menu bar, click File and select New Screen Recording. Next to the record button is a drop down menu button. Click it and select the audio source for your call. Click the record button and follow the prompts. When you're done, end the recording and save it. That's it. So those are just some of the tips and tricks that I know for FaceTime. If you have any that you wanna share, throw them in the comments. Also, take a moment and subscribe. Every week we put up a new how-to video it's usually ranges from phones and computers to software and smart home goods. Finally, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't, keep your damn mouth shut. Oh, he's got a Sawzall. This is gonna, this will be a loud one. So this is really what the How To Do All channel is. It's just me commentating on my neighbor building his three-story stairwell deck thing. All right, looks like he gave up on the Sawzall, but defeat is not what he's known for. So he is, it looks like he's repositioning himself. And with one leg on the wood and one behind it, looks like that's gonna be his, his way of bracing, which could be a, either a really wonderful cut with the Sawzall or a horrendous one, which I'll have to cut twice.